Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k in Chrysotop Prophecy in another round. This time, as you can see, another order mission. I've already prepared this little assassination against the or a world bearer Wang God. A seizable force of chaos invaders must be crippled before the final blow can be dealt. Your sacred task is to depri um, decapitate the arch enemy by assassinating their leaders, deploy to the given coordinates, then track down and butcher the fell beasts, purge the unclean. Full or specs lock acquired. Pseudo-kinetic tracking is on, and it is being transmitted to your tactical sensorium. Eliminate negative variables for preferred outcome. Will do, will do. We will try it out. I am, of course, a little bit afraid in the, as I think I always say that in the beginning of this outdoor big-ass maps. Um, and with big-ass, I, of course, am not talking about the size of the map. I think um, every time the size of the map... Um, is relatively identical I of course meant open um, open door map um, in the outside which we normally in this game do not have because normally um, we are in some sort of um, imperial building a ship yes we have the rooftops uh, rooftop maps but um, it's always very narrow the corridors are very very narrow and this time it is open everything is three which is in the beginning always then a little bit not frustrating that is um, to say the least the wrong word a little bit harder to go through because you need to be very very careful we have a large hordes of enemies around for example to the left side and these guys are insane um, large groups of enemies are well a little vain to us because our constructs don't always ideally separate or go into the correct direction attack the correct enemy that is sometimes the hard thing the weird part here but then this is the one of the um, few moments where we are actually need where we need to kite the enemies at least a tinsy little bit when they or when we have their aggro that is the nasty part okay i would like to have my tank back but obviously i'm not able to summon him back up okay um fun fact i through or cause of the horde and that we have pulled some other enemies before we of course um uh, we of course were in a little bit of trouble right here so big guy is back nice and our target has no bodyguard anymore because we already have taken down the Chaos Vanguard or the Chaos Bodyguards to, be, to say it very very precisely Nice, thank you Then to the next target site I wanna take down the surrounding enemies here is, um, that is not necessary, but um, the fun fact is we then have a little way to kite back if we are in dire need. That is the reasoning for me taking even those little gobblers out. Of course, they don't tend to be the hugest threat here, but sometimes that is just better be safe than sorry, so to say. Let's repair the big dude. Come on. He's repairing our constructs are doing nice work of this little group here, bringing them all to their knees. All right, and there's a chest on. We already have um, aggroed them, so let's then jump into it. Next um, inoculator taken. I still. Unless we find um, a resupply, still need to be a tinsy little bit careful in not taking too too many of those inoculators. And then in the end, okay, I see already a inoculator refill. That is quite good. I don't want to um, 
be without inoculators in a later stage of this mission. That would be very, very uncool and would tend to be a little troublesome overall. Okay, let's then get in here. The um, bad part, of course, always with those guys is that they always have champion packs with them. And the problem with them champion packs, of course, is that they most times, not 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 always, of course, most times have at least one Havoc with Flamer in there. And these guys are very, very bad to our little constructs right here. Target neutralized. There is no escape from the wrath of the Imperium. Okay, one more target remains. That may that is very, very good because that means I can take the enemy quickly down. Um, still, I'm I'm now undecisive. Shall we risk it, go to the target, or shall I go and resupply? The resupply is just shy to the left side. I think I really should do it. Okay, we are probably going to pull a horde, but that is then it. I don't hope so. And I hope my constructs are not just attacking them out of the nowhere here. Okay, we pulled them. They have a very, very large pull radius and I still hope that we are not going to um, use up too, too many of the inoculators. That then would mean that we... That, that, that was a waste of not only time but inoculators in the end. But this is right now turning out to be quite good. We have lost our big dude, but the smaller ones are, as you can see, doing the large amounts of damage to those guys. That's the neat part. Okay, one taken. We are still, I think, two in the plus here. So in the end, it was a little worth it, I think. A little sad part is that we still can't re-summon our, our tanky guy. That is the only downside right here. And we need to pull another skull, and I hope they are not going to combine with the target side, because then we would be a little more in trouble. Nice! We pulled more enemies. Okay, we are in a large amount of trouble, I can say the least here. So let's concentrate. What would be really, really cool, uh, guys, would be if we could send them, if we would have some sort of ability to send them on certain enemies, then I could concentrate them on, for example, the Havocs. That would help out a lot, I think. And then we could target down certain enemies and wouldn't have to, you know, wait for them to quite by accident attack the right target. Okay, they are got down. And the last one. Okay, good. That went better than ex expected. That is neat. Okay, we even would have a resupply right here. Too bad. That's a shame. But at least you can always say, even if you, quote, quote, waste, waste a little bit of time um, taking the inocul inoculators, for example, in the end, it is experience your character gains that um, always is the good part. Even if it's only a little bit even if it's only a little tinsy bit. Okay, they are down. I'll then concentrate on this guy. Nice. And then the Renegade Commander is the last target at hand and will be taken down very, very soonish. Ah, okay. Yes, of course, the Commanders. Neurospheric assessment complete. Operation is a success. The, Inloading data construct. the commanders are always that target that can regenerate their health. They have actually a inoculator and can replenish their health. But guys, that leads us right now to the end of this episode and you know it. I really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please guys give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.